I am going to show you a short movie now by my good friend Louis Schwartzberg that shows how the bees forage. And the bees leave these hives and then they don't come back. And so when Louis Schwartzberg knew of my work with insects and fungi, he says, Paul, can you help the bees? And then I have this epiphany that took me 30 years. <laughs> and so we have now created myco honey coming from mycelium. I approached several universities when I contacted Washington State University. They said, please don't go to anyone else. This is too cool of an idea. So we started doing experiments with bees. First, we wanted to do a stress test. 100 bees in a cage. They're given the extracts of the mycelium, the myco honey. Then we said, well, let's look at the viruses being vectored by the mites. And feeding them our extracts compared to the sugar control and you can see how the viral count skyrockets and then at 0.1 1% and 10% solution uh, the viral counts plummet looking at the red reishi which also grows on birch trees we get a similar effect how weird is this that the same mushrooms that can limit bird flu h5n1 herpes also positively affect bees and being able for them to control the viral burden and reduce them. 30% of our food is directly pollinated by bees and 70% of our food is, is controlled by pollinators. We are we, suffering a collapse of our ecosystems, but we can do something about this. So I want to then finish now with a movie that Louis Schwartzberg and I are making together and my dear brother Louis uh, is, uh, and has put together this little two minute clip and I just want to uh, close with this. Mushroom mycelium represents rebirth, rejuvenation, regeneration. Fungi generate soil that gives life. The task that we face today is to understand the language of nature. My mission is to discover the language of nature of the fungal networks that communicate with the ecosystem. And I believe nature is intelligent. The fact that we lack the language skills to communicate with nature does not impugn the concept that nature is intelligent. It speaks to our inadequacy for communication. If we don't get our act together and come in commonality and understanding with the organisms that sustain us today, not only will we destroy those organisms, but we will destroy ourselves. We need to have a paradigm shift in our consciousness. What will it take to achieve that? If I die trying, and but I'm inadequate to the task to make a course change in the evolution of life on this planet, okay, I tried. The fact is, I tried. How many people are not trying? If you knew that every breath you took could save hundreds of lives into the future, had you walked down this path of knowledge, wouldn't you run down that path of knowledge as fast as you could? I believe nature is a force of good. Good is not only a concept, it is a spirit. And so hopefully the spirit of goodness will survive.